In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rinth, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modrinth.com, click on modrinth, and this will bring you to the modern homepage. From there, just go to discover content on the top of the website, then go down to shaders. Now, you will find complementary shaders reimagined and complementary shaders unbound. These shaders should be on top. If you can't find them, go on search shaders, but that should be unlikely. You should see them somewhere here, okay? So there is two types of shaders here. We have reimagined and unbound, so I am just gonna get both of them, but you just basically just choose one. Okay, so to begin, if you want reimagined, you'll have to click on the name, then you want to go to versions, and then you want to get the latest version. So in this case, there's like 5.6, you just want to get the latest one they have. So just click the green download button, and that brings you to the downloads for complementary shaders reimagined, well, so technically you have your shader ready. If you want to have the unbound shader, just go to discover content, shaders, here you have unbound, click on the name, and now go to versions, then just get the latest one. So here we have the green download button, and there you go. You're now done with Modwins, although you need to have iris shaders to use shaders in Minecraft. So how do you get iris? Well, simply go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up iris shaders, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find irisshaders.dev for the website, click on iris shaders, and this will bring you to this page. From there, just go to the download now button, and then go to the download universal jar button. And there you go, you have the iris installer. If you can't run the installer, this is most likely because you don't have Java for Windows. If you can't run it, what you'll have to do is just go to a new tab. Now I will have this in the description if you need it. But it is simply JDK25, Java25. You want to enter that in. Then you want to go to overcall.com, Java downloads. And then you want to go ahead and do accept all. Then you want to scroll down. Here you'll find JDK25, make sure it's selected, select Windows if you're using Windows, and get the x64 installer with this link here. You click this link to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to go ahead and actually run the installer. Okay, so once you have this, you can go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine, and then you can go to your file explorer. Now you can go to your downloads folder. Here you have to double click the iOS installer, and this will run this window. Make sure the game version is correct, and if it is, just do install. Once it's done, you can close the installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to go ahead and open up the iris instance of Minecraft. So here's iris and sodium, just click play to open it. And then you'll be able to add the two shaders to the shader packs folder. So yeah. That's how that works, so now let me just go ahead and show you how to add the shaders to the game. Okay, so basically what you want to do is just wait for Minecraft to open up, and once it's opened up, you will want to go to Options. Then you want to go to Video Settings, then you want to go to Shader Packs, and then you want to go to Open Shader Pack Folder. Now you want to go to Downloads. You want to select your shader, I just have both of them, so I'll just copy both. You want to copy, then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder, and click paste. And now you copy pasted shaders in .minecraft shader packs. So if we go back to Minecraft here, you will see that both of our shaders shows up, you don't need to unzip it. So this means you can just go ahead and just select whatever one you want, so like reimagined, and just do apply. And this just applies the shader. You can't have two shaders applied at once, but you can apply Unbound now, and it will just switch. So if you want to disable them, just do Shaders Enabled, Disabled, and click Apply, okay? So now, 
let's go in a game to see how this works. So if you go to like a single player, we can go to world, you can go to server with multiplayer or a realm world with realms. I'll just go to a single player world, although all the other options are also valid. So yeah, basically here we have Minecraft, no shaders. And if you want to use shaders, what you have to do is just go ahead and go to escape, options, video settings, shader packs, and select one of the shaders like we imagined for example, and click apply. And this will just apply the shader to your game. So yeah, it takes a few seconds and then the shader just applies itself. And there you go. The shader has not applied. I can do this just to see how the game looks like. And then you can go to shader pack settings here to go ahead and change some settings if you want. So yeah, that is the shader pack applied to Minecraft. So yeah, that is how we download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.